Ga hana zaidiya ma hana kaidiya shakuru kundum sarkin zazau amma da Allah da kalin zami da kada kyawo da ya dottijo mai da gurban sarkin zazau amma duka ne sarkin zazau ga dami na rahamar ra al'umma a shakuru kundum mai al'umma Amada kaza mutu wa dufama ajara gama rba kinga la kuma Sariya da sadda gida ya kuma Kida gara jama za dufama Maida gara je idanga kakama agama ali na kashe tarzoma Sada salama mbunga ala umma Alla reka ama maya ala umma Insha kuru kumudumma sana chenza zawa Amado alla reka alinzami Reka da kia hoda ya dotijua Amma ida gulu bansa reka nzanza hu Hausa waka nti labani nzuti ya atamba ipuska Hakata kasa nti arana litinin Garaga wata nuwamba shikara teribu ibida ashirin Ainda duban jamaa Manyade ara yangarida manyamba i Daga duka sasa kasar na Kuwata wikida farin tiki Danuna goya mbaya Tare da inda pipi Zua danda ling alaji Muhammad Aminu Watu wanda haka pisa nida Pilu mpolo daki GRA Zaria Dan tabbatar da nadin sarautar Maigirma sarikin zazaw na goma shatara Ambasada ahmen nuba mali Wanda gomna njahar kaduna Mala nasura ahmi erufai ya jagoran ta Banka mwala taki Nigeria, ambule tarenda adoa ni daga bakimba bali imamu masara utazazo alati talati kasumu imamu. Sayi jawabi maraba Dabuda taro Daga bakin komishina Nkarana hukumomi Alaji japaru sani Wandei chikin harishan Turanti kamanaka It is a real privilege To present this welcome address At this historic occasion Of the presentation of staff of office To the 19th area of Zazo His Highness Ambassador Malan Ahmed Nu Bamali. Let me begin by welcoming His Excellency the Governor of Kaduna State, Malan Nasir Alwe Rufai, OFR. I also warmly welcome the representative of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Mohammed Mahmoud Abakar, the Minister of Environment. In the same vein, I welcome our distinguished Senator, Suleiman Abdukari as well as Right Honorable Speaker, House of Representatives, Mr. Femi Bajamila, members of the House of Representatives here with us this morning, my Lord, Chief Judge of Kaduna State and other judges here present. May I also respectfully welcome His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, Al-Haji Muhammad Saad Abakar, CFR, and other eminent and revered royal fathers from all over the country for finding time to grace this occasion. Similarly, I wish to welcome the Speaker, Cabinet of the Senate of the Assembly, members of the Senate House of Assembly here present, members of the State Executive Governor, uh, Council, former governors, and other top federal and state government officials who have found time to be with us. 
Your Excellencies, Your Highness, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, let me at this point congratulate His Highness Ambassador Mala Ahamadou Mamali for his well-deserved appointment as the 19th area of Zozo. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the imperfection of the late area al Haji Dr. Shaw Idris CMR and grant him al genital freedoms. On behalf of the Minister of Local Government Affairs, the Zozo Emirate Council, as well as the good people of the Emirates, I want to extend our appreciation to the Governor of Kaduna State for the decision to appoint His Highness Ambassador Mala Ahmed Nuhu Bamali as the 19th Fulani area of Zozo. I want to assure His Excellency the Governor that His Highness the 19th area will be an ambassador of peace and a leader for all his people. As the ministry responsible for chieftaincy matters, we are particularly grateful for the support Your Excellency is extending to their highnesses and by extension the traditional institution in the state in fulfillment of your promise Your Excellency to alleviate the transportation problems of our royal fathers you have purchased and distributed brand new vehicles to all our 32 graded chiefs in the state you have also approved the establishment of a medical scheme for their highnesses that will enable them seek for medical attention overseas. This is an indication to the, this is in addition to the renovation and rehabilitation of the palaces of their traditional rulers. It has therefore become imperative to call on our royal fathers to continue to champion the cause of peace and peaceful coexistence in their domain for the progress and development of their communities. Without peace, no meaningful development can be achieved. I will therefore enjoin our traditional rulers to use their wealth of experience to assist the administration in the task of developing our dear state. I urge the good people of Zazo Emirates to continue to live in peace and harmony and to also rally around our new Emir by supporting and cooperating with him in the general administration of the Emirate, just as you cooperated with and supported his predecessor. In conclusion, I wish to thank all invited guests, their royal highnesses, governors, present and past, and all others that have found time to be with us this morning and wish them journey buses back to their respective destination. Thank you and may God bless all of us. Say in the name of Sarota, your cousin Che Kamaraka.
Bayan kammala na din sarki sai kuma dan suwar kama aiki bisa addinin musulunci da dokar kasa kamar haka Bismillah Mado kachin sarki Mado kachin sarki Ba zan ci amanar jama'a ta ba Ba zan ci amanar jama'a ta ba Ko ta kananan hukumomin lardin zazzau Ko ta kananan hukumomin lardin zazzau Ko ta gwamnatin mu ta ji har Kaduna Ko ta gwamnatin mu ta ji har Kaduna Ko gwamnatin tarayya Ko gwamnatin tarayya Ko sauran gwamnatoci Ko ko sauran gwamnatoci Zan rike jama'a bisa gaskiya da amana da aminci da yin iyakan kokari na in kawo zaman lafiya da kwanciyar hankali da ci gaba da tattalin arzikin kasan zazzau baki daya ba zan saba mu dokokin gwamnati ba ba zan saba mu dokokin gwamnati ba ko ta shari'a ko ta shari'a alhamdulillah alhamdulillah <laughs>
Jawabin wakilin shugaban kasa Muhammad Buhari wato Dr. Muhammad Mahmud Abubakar Minister Muhalli wanda yayi cikin harshen turanci kamar haka I am honored today to speak on behalf of Mr. President Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria at this important and memorable occasion The president wanted to be here today but for other important state functions. He is, however, sending his greetings and congratulations to Zazo Emirate, the people of Zazo Emirate, and in particular, the newly coronated Emir. This event is indeed memorable as it revived the traditional values of our country particularly the Northern Emirate system. The Zazo Emirate is historically a strong pillar that has started successive administrations in Northern Nigeria by blending traditional values, discipline, and culture with modernization. It is important to note that this event represents a fundamental return to the start of succession chain around the rulership of Zazo since the formation of the Fulani Emirate system. Refreshingly, the new Emir, His Highness Ambassador Ahmed Nuba Mali, is from all historical purposes a return to the root, the Malawa ruling house led by its founder, Mala Musa supposed to be the first in chain of the Fulani rulership that, rooted, that rotated among three ruling houses for the past 200 years. Significantly, this is happening at a critical time when globally leadership processes are shifting onto an all-encompassing age strata. It is therefore the belief of the government that the Emir will employ the full might of his experience, contact and leadership capacity 
to sync with the effort of the present administration in restoring security and communal harmony that are engines of progress and development. I wish you guidance from God Almighty and I wish the Zezo Emirate success forever. Thank you and God bless. Shima mai girma wannan jihar Kaduna Malam Nasir Ahmed mai rufai yayi nasa jawabi cikin harshen turanci da Hausa Kamaraka It is with gratitude to Almighty Allah the most gracious the most merciful that I am delighted to join the people of Zazo Emirate for the presentation of the staff of office to His Highness Ambassador Ahmed Nubamali the 19th Emir of Zazo the first born Emir of Zazo after independence this is a historic moment, the emergence of a new Emir after the 45-year reign of his distinguished predecessor, His Highness Alhaji Dr. Shehwi Oidris. I wish to welcome all our invited guests and friends to the ancient city of Zaria for this historic occasion. We deeply appreciate your presence. We are grateful to our leader, President Muhammad Buhari, for sending an official delegation to this event. We pray that Allah, in his infinite mercy, will take all of you back to your destination safely. On behalf of the government and people of Kaduna State, I wish to congratulate your highness on your emergence at the 19th Emir of Zazo. We have no doubt that with your pedigree and experience, in fields as diverse as diplomacy, law, banking and commerce, you will offer inspired leadership for Zazo Emirate. Your Highness, we are proud of your unblemished career in the public and private sectors. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uphold and strengthen you and reinforce you with all the wisdom, good health and resources for a successful reign. Your Highness ascends the throne in a much changed era to that of your illustrious predecessor. There are, these are more modern times with fresh opportunities and many old and new challenges. Ours is an incredibly young state, Your Highness, and so is Zazo Emirate, with 89% of residents being younger than 35 years of age. We are grappling with expanding the opportunities for jobs, sound education, and decent health care that can help channel this youthfulness as a positive resource. Some of our communities are menaced by security challenges, threats to the rural economy, and persistent perils to peace and harmony in diverse areas. We need better data about who lives in the state, what they do, and what facilities exist who are required in the communities in which they reside. The traditional institution can be a vital partner in addressing these challenges. Zazo Emirates spans 11 out of the 23 local government areas in Kaduna State and accounts for more than 60% of the population. Its modern roots lie in the revivalist movement led by Sheikh Usman Damfodio, which remade the polities in the old Hausa states and gave birth to the four ruling houses in this emirate. Over the last two centuries, Zazo Emirate has come to be known as the place of enlightenment and scholarship, and peaceful and harmonious coexistence of its diverse people. These attributes constitute part of the culture and ethos of Bazazagi. Let me at this juncture pay tribute to our late father, the immediate past emir of Zazo. Alhaji Shehwi Idris had the most distinguished reign. In his 45 years as Emir, he was regarded as a just and fair ruler, a peacemaker par excellence, an outstanding administrator, and a kind-hearted leader and father to all of us. He contributed immensely to the successes recorded by our administration, especially in the critical areas of education, preventive health care, peace building, and mass mobilization. His fatherly advice and guidance in our then weekly Security Council meetings would remain indelible in our minds. May Al Jannat Firdaus be his final abode. Amen. We are confident 
that your highness will consolidate on the solid foundation already put in place by your predecessor. The admirable effort you are making to unify Zazo Emirates should continue while remaining open to and receptive to positive contributions from all relevant stakeholders. We urge you to carry all the ruling houses along as you lead this Emirate in circumstances that have changed much over the recent decades. Your Highnesses, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our faith teaches us that power and authority belong to Allah. He alone gives to whoever he wishes at the time and circumstances best known to him. As governor of Kaduna State, it is God's will that I am privileged to be the first elected public servant to appoint an Emir of Zazo in an independent democratic setting. This occasion of handing over the staff of office to the 19th Fulani Emir of Zazo is taking place exactly a hundred years since the colonial governor of Northern Region, Herbert Simmons Goldsmith, unjustly deposed your grandfather, Emir Alu NCD of blessed memory. The vacancy of the Zazo Emirate, of the stool of Zazo Emirate, therefore gave Kaduna State Government an opportunity not only to redress a colonial injustice, but to return to the enduring principles that guided the appointment of Emirs under the Sokoto Caliphate. Sheikh Usman Danfodio, in his seminal work, Bayan al Wujub al Hijra, was very clear that there are nine qualities of Islamic leadership. Number one, wisdom. Number two, learning. Number three, clemency. Number four, generosity. Number five, kindness. Number six, righteousness. Number seven, patience. Number eight, gratitude. And number nine, leniency, which entails avoidance of harshness. There are other principles of dynastic succession avoidance of unilinear absolutism and requirement of uh, require, required ad, uh, experience in administration of persons and territory that were discarded by colonial and military regimes that the Kaduna state government felt duty bound to restore, observe and comply with. It is on the basis of this and due regard to these customs, rules and enabling laws that Almighty Allah chose Your Highness to be our Emir and imposed on me the constitutional duty to appoint you. I therefore call on all those that contested the Emirship to accept the will of Allah and join hands with the 19th Emir of Zazo for progress and harmony in the Emirate. I also appeal to all the title holders, district heads, members of the Emirate Council, the good people of Zazo Emirate and indeed all the citizens of Kaduna State to rally around our new Emir by extending to him their full support and cooperation in the same way they extended support to his predecessors to enable speedy development of the Emirate in particular and the state in general. This administration expects the loyalty of all persons to our Emirs and Chiefs and will take firm and decisive action against any person that attempts to undermine in any shape or form the non-partisan and noble status of our traditional institution, particularly Zazo Emirate. The state government appreciates the tre tremendous contributions of ru traditional rulers in promoting peace and harmonious coexistence among the diverse peoples society in the state. One of our targets during the 2020 and 2021 legislative year is, a new, is to promulgate a new law to strengthen and enhance the capacity of the traditional institution in the state by providing clearly defined roles for our royal highnesses in community governance. The new law will also legislate clear dynastic succession order in all emirates and chiefdoms with more than one ruling house. Outline guiding principles for the recommendations of district heads, traditional council members, emirs and chiefs for appointment and consider expanding the membership and roles of the kingmakers. The life tenure of traditional rulers and resultant enduring network they develop offer a unique opportunity for collating relevant security, social and economic information at the grassroots level. 
Traditional rulers are also instrumental in keeping records of births and deaths, increase, increasing school enrollment, and mobilizing citizens for preventive healthcare initiatives like immunization. At this juncture, your Royal Highnesses, your Royal Highnesses, distinguished invited guests, distinguished sons and daughters of the Zoe Emirates, as well as well wishes from across the 36 states of the Federation. It is, has been my pleasure to formally present to His Royal Highness Ambassador Ahmed Nugomali, the Staff of Office at the 19th Flani Emir of Zazo. We wish Your Highness a successful and peaceful reign. Allah ijaza aman in sight. Allah ikari manish. Allah ibash lafia hikima des on rey. Thank you very much for listening. God bless Zazo Emirate. God bless Kaduna State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Kima wanda aka taru domin sa wato mai martaba sarkin Zazzau Ambassador Ahmed Nuhu Bamali ya gabatar da nasu jawabin cikin harshen Hausa da Turanci kamar haka I would like to firstly give thanks to Almighty Allah who has honored me by exalting me to this revered position I would further like to appreciate the Kaduna State government for selecting me as Emir following consultations with the Kaduna State Council of Chiefs. This is an auspicious day in more ways than one. Not only am I being formally informed as so installed as Emir of Zazo, but significantly today marks 100 years since uh, my grandfather, Amal Mali, the city of blessed memory, when he was deposed uh, from the ownership of Tazo, as stated by His Excellency in the government. He was the fourth and also the last reigning emir from my ruling house, the Malawi dynasty, to which we all belong. I'm therefore proud to be his successor, as well as that of Malam Musa Bamali, the flag bearer and first Fulani Emir of Brazil. Um, I have always taken a great interest and deep commitment and strong appreciation for the tradition and history of Northern Nigeria, which, like my late father, Mogadjigal Zozo, Malam Bamali, a blessed memory, endeavored to promote at every opportunity throughout his life. Let me take this liberty to show my gratitude and appreciation first to Almighty Allah for elevating me to this uh, great position, enviable position. I'm also grateful to my parents for shaping my destiny. I'm equally very grat grateful to Allah, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, for making it possible for my, mo for my mother you know, to live up to this day. There is no greater time to enhance and promote the institution of traditional leadership than as an Amir. We therefore make a pledge to you today of our intention to continue the good works of our predecessors, most notably the late Emir Shelby Priest of blessed memory, whose long reign of close to 46 years brought enormous changes and developments in Zozo Emirate. I intend to build on his legacy as well as adopt methodologies to reflect modern times by embracing technology and communication in order to keep up to the rapid changes taking place all around us. We intend to do this without losing the essence of our traditions and practices. My accession to the exalted throne of Zazo, while seen as controversial by some, is undoubtedly the will of Allah. And I urge you all to come together so that united we can collectively rebuild our fragmented society, the region, and indeed the country at large. 
I'd like to reiterate what I have said before since being proclaimed as the Emir of Zazo. I reach out to all the contenders who put their names forward for the Emirship following the death of the Emir. I employ you all to join me in showing a united front in the work ahead. We have much to do in the service of our people. More experienced hands than few will make the work lighter and more impactful. I reach out to you to walk in the spirit of the brotherhood we share in Islam as well as that we share through the many blood connections between our ruling families. There are many societal issues that we wish to help our people surmount. This can only be effectively achieved through the connect, concerted efforts of all of us. I would like to once again thank Kaduna State Government for its tireless efforts in undertaking a great number of public works under the stewardship of His Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasser Ahmed El Rufai. These works and policies have positively impacted the people of Zezo Emirate. We look forward to working closely with Your Excellency in our efforts to improve the conditions of our people. The people, of, the people are at the head of everything. We intend to do and ours will be a reign of listening and aiding the people to the best of our abilities. Finally, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to everyone for the affection, reception I have received, affectionate reception I have received uh, from the day of my appointment. It has truly connected me to you as your leader and will make the task easier to administer. May the Almighty Allah continue to be our guide and protector. Amen. Salaamu Alaikum. The Inuna Muna Wana Rana Danga Batal Muku the Wana Jawabi Amasayina Nasirikanzazo Mukuma Shatara Adola Adola Fulan Hakanan Kuma Ina Budiaga Gomna Chinjaha Kaduna Visa Jagoran Chin Governor Malam Nasir Ahmed El Rufai, the Shah Warim Majalisa Sa, the Majalisa Sarakuna, Kajar Kaduna, when the Sukha Amin Cheda, Zakenda Kemana, Amata in Silki, Wanda Rana, Tagamatari, Apuskoki, the Bandaba, Taya Rana Chi, the Akasa Pakomi, the Sarasha Zunzo, Rana Kumataro, Dede, the Chika, Shikaya Dori. The Tura Indira, Suka Tube, Kakana, Serkin Zazo, Malam Ali Dansi, Wanda Shine, Nahudukuma, Nekashi, the Gidan, Salotar Malla, in the left two. A support Haka in a foreign chicken chewa, Naga Jeshi, Abisa Hukunchi, Wendi, Kuma Allah Yamala Kamu, Halifa Malam Musa, Kakana, Wendi Kerbo. Tuta, the golden acre, can now share who's man and for you. Allah Musa in the Zama Serkins on the Purple, a Doral Fulan. Allah Musa Hama by Kida. A call the Nokichi, Nakan Kasanche, the Matukurisha Awa, the Kumagir Mama, Stalin Salota, the Tari Him, Adochin Nigeria, the Mardi Yeda. Gani wada mahifina mari gai maga jengkel zozo Allah Mushrikah kasan cewa na amat dengan sakit zozo itu cebo berdama dengan samu yang zu dengan cik abad a Kali mertua saya selalu tak sebut dah kah mana cepat cermuku, dah cewa, dah Allah 
za mu ci gaba da kikkyawan ayyuka da magabatan mu su kai zan dauki wannan dama sarki nuna taziyar mu na marigayi mai martaba sarkin zanzo ta hajje Allah ya sa yana da jannar fitos a karshe ina godiya game da alfarma sarkin musulmi da gwamnati da ƴan majalisar sarki da kimai da majalisar jihar Kaduna da majalisar dokoki na jihar Kaduna da na tarayya na wannan amincewa da aka yi a wannan rana don gaji kakan Allah ya sa mu ga malafiya daga bisani sai jawabin godiya da ya fito daga bakin mai girma wazirin Zazau Alhaji Ibrahim Muhammad Aminu ya kawo mu wannan rana ta yau don gunanar da wannan muhimmin al'amari na ba mai mataba sarkin Zazau ambassador Ahmad Nogo Mali a tada sandan kama aiki da kuma rantsuwa na kama aiki na wannan a zaman shi na sarki na 19 farko zan fara da ko da ma na girma shugaban kasar tare da Nigeria president Muhammad Buhari GCFR wanda ai ko da wakilin sa musamman tare da sakon sa dan halartan wannan muhimmin buki na yau mun gode fare da gaske sai godiya ta musamman ga mai girma gwamnati jihar Kaduna malam Nasir Ahmad Rufai OFR wanda shi kuma da gwamnatin sa suka assasa wannan babba al'amari wanda ya tara mu a yau a ƙarshe sai rufa taro da addu'a daga bakin babban limamin masarautar zazzau Alhaji Dalhati Qasim Imam
farai da gaske kusan dan dai kar mu ce mun fishi farin ciki ne amma dai gaskiya muna farin ciki mara musalli ma tsakani da Allah tun daga suka ta mu muke wannan farin ciki amma babban abu kuma shine muna abin ita ce kan gaba dan yanzu murnan kawai saboda kaman an shiga competition ne wani ya ci tabbas za a mi shi murna to alhamdulillah ya san ke murna amma yanzu dai addu'o'i shine kan gaba muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya taya shi roƙo ya ba shi basira ya ba shi hikimar tafiyar da al'umma domin samun shi gaba kasar zazzau jihar Kaduna da Najeriya gabaki daya ya wace kiran ke ga ita ga shi mai martaba to kiran da nake mai martaba duk abin da zan ce abu ne da ya sani amma tunatarwa yana da amfani ko da yaushe yayi haburi dama rin fane shi shirki ya saba kusan ba wani abu da za a ce zai zo mishi sabo sai dai a ce mutanen ne ma sun kara yawa so ina kiran shi da ya kara haburi addu'o'i yana yi a ko da yaushe ya kara addu'o'i yayi haburi da jama'a zai ga iri iri zai ga mutane masu kyau zai ga marasa kyau zai ga wadanda ma bai san mene ne an yi an yansu ba amma abin da yake shine shi ya tsarka ke zuciyar shi aiki da kowa domin Allah tunda aikin ba na mutum daya bane aka hada hannu insha Allah za a samu su shugabancin da nan gaba zai zama shugabanci na gara abun misali daga karshe ina kira ga al'umma kuma ga baki daya mu hada hannu a ba mai martaba goyen baya addini ya nuna mana cewa idan aka samu shugabanci ya kamata kowa ya mu baya a tunda zabin Allah ne wanda ma dai ya ce zai yi tantama akan wannan zabin to zai yi ne da Allah Allah ya zabe shi ya ba shi ya zama sarkin zazzau na sha tara to kuma Allah ne zai taya shi rubu ko kuma mu taya shi da addu'o'i mu taya shi da gudunmuwa duk iyawan da zamu iya yi saboda tafiyar ta ta insha Allah za a same da ake so ana na san ya yi haya insha Allah to me za ki ce a wannan rana da ake ba da sanda na sarki na 19 a masarautar to ba abin da zamu ce godiya ga Allah ko alhamdulillah alhamdulillah ta wannan muna miki ba ta alheri da Allah kuma sa a gama lafiya kuma muna kira ga Allah'a emanet olun.